to Scarlet Rage Vintage and today I have my bestie, it's uh, Laurie aka Greyhound Vintage. Hi! We are going to talk about Vintage Weekenders because we've got quite a few weekenders coming up at the moment. We've obviously got the big one which is Viva mm -hmm. and then we've got Hep Counts Holiday. Then obviously the oldie and the trusty for me is uh, the rave, but you've got quite a few before then. So we're gonna tell you the do's and the don'ts, what to pack, what not to pack, because it can be daunting, especially if you're going to a vintage weekender for the first time. It can be sort of like, what do I wear? What do I bring? Because obviously different weekenders have different nights, different themes. I, to be honest, and you to be honest, don't really pay attention to any theme. If you're going to a vintage weekender, Go to enjoy yourself and that's the main thing yeah and rules and regulations out the door have you been to viva no oh you've never been to viva my first time was at viva last year i did it for my 30th it's very similar to european weekenders i would say there's just the venues a lot i would say a lot nicer and everyone i met was super nice and super friendly which was really really nice um but if i was to because that's a weekend it's like three or four nights but a lot of people fly in early to do the pre-parties and stuff like that one thing i think you have to do if you go to viva is definitely go to frank's tiki bar that was really really good viva is a whole different cat the fish because obviously it's hot so hot so bring out the cold rayons bring out the rayons you know that kind of I think vibe for i think the kind of um packing logic yeah for Viva is similar to any... Well, you're going on a long it's, flight. It's, it's anywhere hours. where you're going away. Packing is a nightmare at the best of times. Well, yeah, because you've got it's like a, a one bag minimum type of affair. I always check baggage though, <laughs> obviously. Well, what I say to you is, is that bring something that can be changed intimately. Bags and shoes. Bags and shoes obviously are, are very good. But that something that goes with oh. everything. Yeah. Because you can't take... A bag for every outfit, which was what we would obviously love to do. She would do that. I'm I do lie. in this country. She, she when we does. when I go to things in this country, I make use of the fact that I usually have a car to put everything in. By car, you mean my van? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. So I say bring something that you can definitely change and you can wear maybe a, a couple of times. I would say you know have capris, have a couple of blouses so you could wear that during the day and you know because obviously you're not going to just be straight at Viva all day, all night you're going to be going to different places so you might want to go to a different casino or something like that so cha the ability to change outfits is great and then obviously sequins because you can Why never not? have too many sequins <laughs> so let's get on to a weekender that we both go to you've been going for quite a few years mm -hmm. I've been going for the past Five. It's the rave. The rave is at Pontins in Rye, which isn't actually too far away from my from here. From it here now. So if you wanted to come do an appointment before the rave, pre-gaming, pre-gaming, yeah, literally pre-gaming, come come see me before they take over the whole of Pontins. It's a whole weekender on 1950s music, and they have um, rooms. So they have upstairs, and then you also have vintage. Um, sellers there selling vintage which is always good to have a good old mooch there's bands playing in the bar in the queen vic and there's not a lot that goes on during the day but normally because you are, have come back at probably about three four o'clock in the morning you kind of don't want to um do anything during the day a lot of people are hung over there is a thing that really annoys me is where the you get bands playing outside your chalet door at like 10 o'clock in the morning when you've had like two and a half hours sleep there's some guy outside with a bloody banjo like just going for it and i'm like are you serious right now but it's one of those weekenders is if, if you're going for a nice relaxing weekend it's kind of not that vibe what to pack I bear in mind it's england and the coast it is england and it is the coast and it's cold even when it's sunny yeah, I, I don't think I've been to a rave where it's been pretty great weather, but I always, 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 in my luggage, you will always find something Hawaiian. I bring lots of accessories, because obviously you can, variety is the spice of life, and <laughs> you know, and if you're wear, if you're Laurie, then you change twice or three times a day. 
I tend to bring like a morning outfit. Mm -hmm. So something casual, maybe high-waisted trousers and a top. Uh, and that's the kind of thing that I will go to breakfast in, maybe have a wander around, like a very early wander around the shops. Yeah. At the rave, it's, I'd say it's pretty acceptable to like stay in something like that for like the daytime. Yeah, pretty much. I just think the rave is far more about the music. Than yeah. It, than it is the 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 peacocking. Everybody's there to like dance, get drunk, and have a good time. Yeah. I kind of tend to like the late night sort of vibe at the rave because it's DJs, it's more stroll song. I never used to know how to dance, so and that's a very big thing when you're going to a vintage weekender is dancing. So basics that you must know is to stroll. If you don't know how to stroll then look it up look it up you can learn at the rave i did learn at the rave myself on my first year uh, i met a very nice lady who kind of taught me the way another thing on if you're going to the rave or the riot because it's at um it's at pontins it's not great food not great food so i always uh, make a stop at Tesco's or Sainsbury's on the way down in Hastings and buy food for the next couple of days. It's a cheaper option and you can also buy your own booze. So you can bring your own booze to the Rave or the Riot. That's my big do. Bring bring your own food and uh, bring a steamer, a hand steamer of, something, of some sort. If you are bringing rayons or anything like that that can crumple up very easily, either hang them straight in your car or bring like a hand steamer with you. Condiments. Condiments. Big thing. They have no salt and pepper. They have no salt and pepper in the chalets. Or toilet roll. Or toilet roll. Actually, yeah, that's that's a good one. Bring toilet roll. Sounds really sad, but that's kind of what you need. Oh, and your own towels. And I always say bring my own bedding. Do you bring your own bedding? Yeah, I bring my own duvet cover and pillows. Oh. Um, are there any do's or don'ts for you? Do you have a good time? Yeah, it's... it's it's a weekend to go enjoy yourself and let yourself go. I always, I mean, obviously I don't drink now, but I did always find, uh, even after I've been going for a few years, like the burnout rate by sort of Sunday afternoon, if you don't pace yourself. Yeah. So you get there all excited on a Thursday and go absolutely mad. Yeah. And then I don't know about anybody else, but like spend Friday and part of Saturday just feeling like, you want to die. I feel well, like I want to die anyway and I don't I do, even drink. I do, I do, because you just don't get any sleep and I drink a lot of Coca-Cola. Yeah. Do, do save your money because there are a lot of really good stalls there. And the amount of times I've been there with no money and it just is very torturous. But yeah, I think that's our do's and don'ts for uh, Vintage Weekenders. Um, we're going to carry on doing some more videos, um, so I'm sure you'll see some more from me and Laurie. Do not forget to like and subscribe, and thank you, and bye!